Welcome to Medicap's Various Express. In today's class, we'll be discussing one of the very interesting questions and that too from pediatric. Now, before starting, let me tell you that if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that whenever we post any new video, you'll automatically get notified. Now, this question is from pediatrics and this question has been asked in AIPG and NEET examination. And the question was, who advocated the following space maintainer? So you need to see the question properly. They're not asking who invented or who discovered. They're asking who advocated the use of this space maintainer. And this image was given. So they're asking about this. So first of all, this is fixed space maintainer. Secondly, this is distal shoe. So this is the abutment. Now the options given were a Wilson, B Willett, C Wilhelm and D Roche. Now let's quickly brush up few of the points uh, related to distal shoe space maintainer. So this is the image of distal shoe space maintainer. Now in the year 1929, Willett represented the first maintainer with a distal extension. So this is the distal extension and this tend to be 1 mm deep in the mesial side of the tooth in the gingival margin gingival you can say now why he has advocated the use of this uh, and when so it is with the distal extension for the premature loss of the primary second molar now if there is early loss of this primary second molar then he said to use this uh, distal shoe space maintainer with the modification and it maintains the space for the eruption of second premolar so for the loss of uh, second molar uh, to maintain the space for the second premolar and at the same time guide the eruption of the first permanent molar. Now these are the, some of the very basic questions which examiner tend to ask in Viva and also for your MCQs. Now it consists of a crown. So this is the crown and an intra alveolar distal extension which guide the eruption of the permanent first molar. So this is the extension and it is guiding this. So this is the first molar. It is guiding this and at the same time it is maintaining the space for the second premolar. Now there are certain contraindications for the use of this uh, distal shoe space maintainer. So the contraindication, the uh, absolute contraindication when there is multiple teeth are lost on the same side, unsatisfactory abutment is present that is uh, the abutment with which uh, you need to put that crown that is not sound enough then poor oral hygiene as it can lead to caries uh, then poor patient and uh, parents cooperation apart from this certain other contraindications are there in which you tend to avoid these uh, distal shoe space maintainer so they are blood distresses juvenile diabetes low resistant to infection congenital heart diseases, history of the rheumatic fever and generalized debilitation. So all these they are the contraindication. Now let me tell you that before uh, when you are preparing the tooth for this uh, distal shoe space maintainer you need to take a radiograph to see uh, the position of the erupting tooth and the space obviously. Secondly you need to use this uh, distal shoe space maintainer until unless uh, there is eruption of the tooth. When there is eruption of the teeth or you can say the crown is visible, then you need to change it with the band and loop, band and loop retainers. Uh, right. So these are certain uh, important points related to this distal shoe space maintainer. Coming back to our question. So the answer is will it? Before ending this session, let me tell you that we are even providing updates on a WhatsApp group. So if you want to join to our WhatsApp group, you can use this link www.medicoapps.org slash groups. You need to choose wisely uh, your group because we are providing updates for medical students as well as dental students and in dental students also we are providing updates according to your year say for example if you're a first year student we are providing updates on anatomy biochemistry physiology etc and so like uh, second year third year final year and even for intern and post intern again uh, the gentle reminder is that if you have not uh, subscribed to our youtube channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that whenever we update any new video you'll automatically get notified. Thank you. Hope you like the class.